Wednesday, everybody. Um, it ain't quite time yet, but in a little over an hour, it starts my 24-hour um, readathon. Um, yeah, um, I probably won't come on until a little after the I start it at 12, 10 my time, um, 11 Eastern time. Yeah, so uh, yeah, um, but I just wanted to do the intro now. And then I'm going to try to read like a little bit before the read and sprints that start at 12 my time, 1 Eastern time. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to at least read a tiny bit before um, that. Um, it's going to be one of these. I'm going to like, I don't know which one I'm going to read out of these two first. Um, there was another one. If you guys saw my um, announcement video, quick announcement video and what I was planning on reading. I was going to read um, this one. Keep it in the keep it in the family by John Mayers, but I didn't like it. It was just too too much graphics. I mean, like not graphic. It wasn't graphic yet, but it's just like a topic that is just like hard to read. So yeah, so I got to page seventy. I was I read seventy four page seventy four pages before I decided to get it. Excuse me, I almost lost my breath. And then um, I try, um, I went to the end just to see if I was missing anything. And I don't think I did. I don't think I made the wrong choice that I would miss anything. So, yeah, I did left it. So, um, I got Jester over there, which I showed in my video. I mean, in my announcements, like I said, in another one that I'm blanking on the name. But I wanted to start with uh, like a thriller, mystery, whatever you want to say. So I don't know if I'm going to, like I said, if I'm going to read The Haunting of Maddie Claire by Simone St. James or The ha ha Hacienda by Isabel Canis? Cantius? Canius? I'm not sure how you say the author's last name. I don't know. I might wind up reading both of these and not even reading the other two, but we'll see. If I even finish one book, because I don't know. I'm hoping because I am doing read and sprints and I seem to read more during read and sprints. So hopefully that will work. And you guys, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that bell icon because I'm going to be doing a lot of um, read and sprints. Um, next month, um, Bethany is doing like a, instead of, you know, how you do like read for the whole, I mean, write, write how many pages you can for the whole month instead of like doing that. Bethany is going to be doing a um, reading. See how many pages you can read in a month. And you're supposed to like, like say like, I want to read like 4,000 pages and then try to read that many pages before the end of the month. And she said that, um, you know, if you wanted to, you could do like, if you know how to do lives, you could do live sprints and stuff like that. So I thought that would be fun uh, to do some live sprints. So. I'm gonna, I have a schedule. I'm gonna be making an announcement video in the next couple days about that. Um, once I know how many pages I wanna, um, what you call it. I already have the schedule put out. Of course, it could change the dates, but these are the dates I put for right now. Um, yeah, but you guys will see that announcement video in a few days. But yeah, I will update you guys later when I've read something, but it doesn't start for another, let me see. My phone's like, Four, four or five minutes fast so since so it's 902 so it's only like it's like 858 so like an hour and two minutes to start so yeah but I like I said I probably won't update you guys until like it's already like at least an hour in that way I could try to read a few pages before I update you of one of them just to let you know yeah you know to let you know um oh my gosh now I lost my chance that Yeah, <laughs> to give you my initial thoughts of the books. That's what I meant to say, that I'll be, whichever one I'll be reading first. But yeah. Okay, I will talk to you guys all later. Hi, everybody. So I changed the, um, what I'm going to read again. I decided I'm going to read, try to finish both of these, read both of these books during my 24-hour readathon. Um... And I started just because I know I like Maddie. I mean, not Maddie. Oh, my God. Simone St. James. 
writing, I decided I'm going to start with hers. Because usually if I'm really into her books, I can finish them in like... Sometimes I can finish it before the day. <gasps> God bless you! Sorry about that. That's Hannah sneezing. But yeah, sometimes I can finish it in like 12 hours. So hopefully I can, if nothing else, finish her book and start another one. So I figured I'm going to read this first. And then I'm going to go straight. If I finish this one, then I'll go straight into the Hacienda. And if I don't finish it, then I'm still going to um, read the Hacienda or Jester next. So, uh, yeah. I might save the Hacienda. Uh, Hacienda. How do you say that word? If I don't get to it, or if I change my mind, I might save that um, for Friday. Cause Friday through Monday is... Um, uh, I didn't do a TBR, I mean, like a TBR for it, but I'm going to be doing um, Gabby and um, Olivia's readathon. I'm just going to, like, let you guys know what I'm reading as I'm doing the reading vlog for it. So, yeah. But um, that might be one of the books I read. Uh, yeah. Because I'm going to participate, but I'm only going to do a couple of the prompts that they mentioned, like the one at night. Because I'm going to find the manga. And I think there's one that you can either listen to an audio or read a manga. And I think I'm going to do that and you and combine those two. Unless I get done with a couple of books really quick. But one of the prompts is like to um, toss a coin or something like that. A, you know, and pick out of one of them. And there's a couple of books. I thought I would do like one book and one graphic novel for that one. Let's see which one gets picked and read that. And then the night one. And then if I can find one with a monster. I think like ghouls would be a, considered a monster. Um, yeah. So, because I kind of want to read books two and three. Because that's what I have in Tokyo Ghouls. So, I might do that for the readathon. I mean, for their 24. I mean, for their four day readathon. I mean, not readathon. But, yeah, readathon. So, yeah. You guys will find out when I find out. Because... <laughs> I'm mostly going to mood read. The only one I'm not going to mo uh, mood read is the queen, of course. Because you got to toss and, you know, whichever one heads or tells, whichever one uses hells or tells, if tells wins, of course. You have to read whatever you said was tells. So, anyways, yeah. But, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. But, um, oh, I forgot to tell you really quick. I have enough time. I didn't get very far, like I was saying. I got to page a whole 16. So she met, I forget his name, Alistair? That ain't the one that she's supposed to get involved with, though. I think she's supposed to get involved with um, uh, Matthew, I think. Yeah, I think that's who she's going to start liking is Matthew. We haven't met him yet, but he's been mentioned. He's like, his sister's getting, uh, I mean, he's having a baby, I think that's what Alistair was saying. And he needs... Um, a girl. Plus, he needs a girl. The reason why he asked for a girl is because the ghost, Maddie, does not like men. And at the beginning, he was explaining that that um, that that they that the people that live in the house or something like that wanted um, wanted at, um, him to do an exorcism or whatever. But she was so violent; she was like throwing things at him and stuff. She does not like men. And it's not a spoiler because it's the first few pages. We found out that, I guess, we'll see if she really committed suicide. But supposedly she committed suicide. But for some reason, she, but that she don't like men. So, yeah. But, yeah. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Um, when my um, reading sprints are over, I'll come back and let you know how far I got. And, yeah. So, I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. Um, let's see. It is 5 o'clock? Yeah, 5 o'clock. And I started this at 10. Uh, uh, what? Um, uh. So, 7 hours. I've been... My readathon's been going on for 7 hours so far. And I'm on page 191, chapter 20. I'm tired. I've been doing read and spread okay. since 12... Uh, what is what is our? I always forget what mine is. Central, central. I think I'm on central times. I always forget. 
I know I'm an hour behind Easter, and that's all I know. So, yeah. But, oh my gosh, this is getting creepy. If you don't like, like, birds or crows, those type of birds, be prepared for a scene like that. So, yeah. That's why these are there. These birds. You knew there had to be a reason the birds were on the cover. There usually is, but oh my gosh. The crows, birds, whatever you want to say, but yeah. This is getting very, very spooky, but so good. I, I wrote a couple times in it. This is so much better than that one I was trying to read. Uh, Keep it in the family or whatever that one was. Ugh. This one is so much more fun. I put down, not good at all. I put down, hell no. <laughs> I read to you some of my things. I haven't really wrote a lot in here. I put creepy and very unsettling. There is a romance in this, if you didn't know, between uh, Matthew and Sarah. But I really love Alistair. Like, really love Alistair. Um, yeah. I don't know if I wrote anything else in here. There's already, like, one sex scene. Yeah. So. Be prepared if you don't like sex in your books. <laughs> But yeah, that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to spoil anything really major. But I just want to let you know about that scene is that the birds do play a part. <laughs> and like I said, there is a romance between the two. But look it up. See all those really dark ones like this? This color? That is like creepy, upsettling, uh, ups, uh, unsettling type. Um... I think the purples are the way certain things are described. Uh, there's like a orange. I'll tell you what everything is. So things I want to remember is this one. Well, you guys can see right there. I won't read to you what they what they say, but that's what it means. I'll just read it in case you can't read my handwriting. So the first one that you saw is things I want to remember about Maddie. The second one is scary, disturbing, etc. Uh, the third one is favorite parts, like things that make me smile, laugh, you know. The pink or whatever this color, whatever you want to say this color is. Yeah, pink is like romance or it could be like, it don't have to be just like them going on dates, but it could be the sex, you know, and stuff like that. Just like romance, sexy times. I just put romance though. Green, this green, of course, is favorite quotes. Um... The purple is how people and things are described. Upsetting, pisses me off, stuff like this. This one, this was supposed to be other things I want to remember, but I forgot to write it down, so I'll write it down. But yeah, so that's what that minty color looks like. Or this minty color, I guess you would say it is. That's what that is supposed to be. I just didn't, like I said, write it down. So yeah, I'm doing pretty good for six hours, I guess. I mean, I've been reading off and on all morning, so yeah. I um, definitely want to know, like, what the hell happened in this book. It's very disturbing, very disturbing. Because you know um, that something happened, bad happened to Maddie. It's implied already at the, the very beginning when you first hear the person talking about Maddie that knew her. It's implied that she, that she probably was, you know, raped or attacked. Um, because of how much she doesn't like men and stuff. Yeah. So, be prepared for some stuff like that, if that's the case. But that's where it sounds like it's going. That she was, <laughs> yeah. sorry it's allowed, that she was raped, so. But yeah, it's, best, it's definitely intriguing. Definitely intriguing. I love that there's romance in her books, but I love that the romance ain't the main plot. That, you know, that there's just some romance in there, you know. 
Because sometimes I like books that don't have romances, especially if it's like a mystery thriller. But this one, it's like, like I said, there's parts of them, you know, kissing or having, you know, having sex or something like that. But it's not like constant and it ain't the main theme. So, yeah. But I should be done with this early, easy tonight before I go to bed. Because it's only 318 pages or something like that. And like I said, I'm almost on 200. So I have a little over... I have about 125 pages probably. 127 no pages somewhere around there. I'm just guessing. So I probably won't update... Unless I finish this before I start the next reading sprints. I probably won't update you guys until I don't know what time. How long my reading sprints are going to go on. But... I might be on until like 1 my time in the morning, which is 2 Eastern time. So, we will see. But yeah, I will talk to you guys whenever I am. If I'm done with this before my sprints or when I get done with my set of sprints. And if I do finish this before my sprints, then you guys know the next one I'm going to go into is the Hacienda. So yeah. And if I get that started so during the lives, then I'll let you know how, with the rate. If I, if I don't finish this before, I'll let you know if I finish it at the live, after the live, um, or, you know, during the live, how, what my final score grade is, rating is, and then um, how much I read in the Hacienda. Right now, this feels like a four and a half. Could be a five star. It could be a favorite, which is a six, depending on how it ends. So, okay. I just find that I really love um, Simone St. James writing. The only one I didn't really care for, but I didn't hate, was the Book of Cold Cases. It was like in the middle, like three, three stars. My favorite so far is Sundown Motel that I've read of hers. And then, um, um, what is the name of that other book of hers? Uh, let me see if I can find it. I'm not finding it. What's the name of that other one that she wrote? I'm blanking on the name of the other one that she wrote. Oh, maybe she wrote so it. many books. No. The Broken Girls. That's it. The Broken Girls. I gave like a four point five, I think. Four, four, yeah, about four point five, and I rounded up to five, I believe. But yeah, the Sundown Motel is definitely my favorite so far. But this one feels like it could be my favorite one. You know. If I heard though is the is her is the one that I like, you know, you, you know, you didn't like it. Like it her new one. Yeah, the book, the book of cold cases. I like it. I didn't hate it, it just wasn't my favorite. But anyways, um yeah, sundown I mean that this one so I mean could um become my favorite over um the Sundown Motel, but we'll see. But right now this is like spooky. Like, Maddie is not playing around. She's here t for Rilza. Rilza, you know, she ain't playing. She is not playing Maddie. So, just be prepared for that. But, yeah, I am really, really enjoying my experience reading it. So, yay. But, yeah, I like I said, I'll either update you guys before my reading sprint starts again or uh, before I go to bed, which would probably be like 1 or 2 in the morning, knowing me. But, yeah, I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. So I decided to leave to end my stream early because everybody left. And I sat there for like 45 minutes to see if anybody else would, if anybody else is, if anybody else, if they were going to, if anybody was going to come back that was on. And no one was showing up for it. It wasn't showing that anybody was there. So I ended it. Plus, I finished. The Haunting of Maddie Claire. And I don't know what to read next. I know I told you guys I was going to read. Probably The Hacienda or Jester or The Whisper in Dark. But I don't know. I might go ahead and start. Um, read this one. And then on Friday. During when. Um, this is a reread. And then Friday when um, Gabby and Olivia do their um, readathon, I'll read the second book. So, just something to think about. So this might be my next one. But yeah, I really love this one. 
it's like a 4.5 rounded up to a 5. I still think I, I thought this might be my favorite and then Sundown Motel. But, but no, this quite wasn't a 6. Like Sundown Motel was my favorite of hers. I gave it a 6 star. Um, this one was up with um, the, uh, I forget the name of it. The one with the school, what was it called? The Broken Girls. That one. This one and the Broken Girls were about the same. So, so still nothing has beaded. Um, oh my gosh, I just said it. <laughs> so far, nothing has beaded Sundown Motel. So, and so far, my least favorite is still the Book of Cold Cases. I think I gave it like a three, three and a half. So it wasn't the worst, but it just wasn't my favorite. So yeah. But this one, like I said, it's good. I, I think I'm like, I, I haven't read any of her like other books that aren't well known. So, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, it, it had some creepiness in it. Especially the scenes with these. <laughs> it was interesting to find out, like, what happened. Even though I kind of figured out what happened. <laughs> but not everything, but yeah, some stuff. I really enjoyed it. I definitely think it, it's a fun read. It's spooky. It's not scary, scary, but it's kind of spooky. So... It's, I think it set out what I wanted it to do, which was just make me, like, wonder about things and be kind of, like, what's going to happen next type of feel, which I did. Like I said, I liked that the romance didn't overshadow um, the plot. Um, yeah, there, you know, there was things I didn't like. Like, why I didn't mind the romance. Um... I don't think it needed to be there in order, you know, yeah. Sirens. Um, I was going to say, I do like, um, I think my favorite character, though, is Alistair. Alistair? Alistair? How do you say his name? Alistair? Alistair? Yeah. There was just something about him. He was very, like, charming. He intrigued me. Matthew was okay. He wasn't bad. I just wish that there was more, um, he just wasn't, like, really exciting either. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't, like, oh my god, you know, to me, like, some guys do in the books that I, that are boy, book boyfriends. So, yeah. But he definitely wasn't awful. I mean, you know. I just didn't understand, to me, why she liked Matthew. To me, she had more, um, like when I, when I read her and Alistair together, when they did scenes together, I thought theirs was more intriguing. I thought Al Alistair was more intriguing of the two guys. Yeah, I would love to have a story of him. More of him. But I still didn't hate Matthew, you know? I still think he was good. I mean, I felt, felt some things for him. So, it wasn't like I hated him. I just liked Alistair better. And I thought she had a little bit more chemistry with Alistair. 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 Yeah. <laughs> But, yeah. But since I'm not, like, since I wanted more of the spookiness, that's another thing I wanted. Just a little bit more spookiness to it. But like I said, when it was spooky, there was some really good spooky parts. I, I think my main thing is I wanted the ending to be a little bit more thrillery to me. Like, some people might think the ending is very, very thrillery. But to me, like, I've read some really, like, 
books that really like towards the end are really full of i mean that are really thriller you know like you're like holding your breath how they're gonna get away you know what's gonna happen and i wasn't quite there with this book at the end all right from sundown the sundown motel i was like damn that ending like yeah and like with the silent patient i love the silent patient i was like damn you know but this is like i loved it don't get me wrong like that's why I gave it a 4.5 and not a 5 or a 6, which is the favorite of the year. Because there was little things that were, you know, but not enough that would knock it down to a 4 instead of a, rounding up to a 5 on Goodreads. Yeah. So, not bad. Not bad at all. And I just am so glad I read this this month. And, yeah. And I will update you if I figure out what I'm going to read next. But I'm thinking maybe this. We shall see. But I will talk to you guys, if not tonight, then in the morning. Um, yeah, before I um, end the vlog. <laughs> you might not hear from me until I end the vlog. And I'll just wrap it up and tell you what I read for the rest of it. If anything. Because I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> but yeah, I'll talk to you guys all later. <laughs>
Otherwise, this will be the last one. So you guys will know what's happening as soon as I know. Or instant, or yeah. So I'll talk to you guys all later. As you can see, I just finished the book. I think we are gonna, it is like a little after nine. Yeah, it's 9.15, so we're just gonna stop here because I'm not gonna have enough time to read another book. But I did pretty good, I read, let's see. I read all of the Simone St. James and all of this, so yay. Um, I don't know how many pages. We'll find out together how many pages, okay? It turned out to be, hold on a minute. It looks like I got a message or something like that. Well, I guess it's not, I guess it's done. I mean, I guess that was an earlier message. Okay, let's find out how many pages we read, or I read. Let's see. So, The Haunting of Adin, Addy. Maddie, why do I always want to say Addie? Maddie Claire was 318 plus it's like 290 something. 294 equals I read. 612 pages in the 24 hour period. Not bad, not bad. Um, this one was a 4.5, rounded up to a five. And this one was a four, just like the first time I read it. Yeah, like I said, it was a good 24 hours for me at least. So yay. Look at the, um, look at them together. What do you think? But yeah, it was a success. Both of the books were fun. Not fun. Well, this one wasn't fun. This one was kind of creepy, but intriguing. It was fun. They were fun to read, I should say. But yeah, so I think I'm going to take a break from reading for a little bit. This one, I didn't tab. I just wasn't in the mood to tab. I just wanted to enjoy the story without having to, you know, but one of these days, I will read this again, and I'll actually tab it now that I really, you know, now that I've really taken it in and remembered things again. So next time we will, we will, I will annotate it. But look at how beautiful the, I just love, this is why I love to annotate and to, you know, like use tabs. If, even if you don't write in it, the tabs are still fun, even though I did write a little bit in this one. But anyways, I love it because you could go like this. A big cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, what are you doing, Ma? <laughs> so you can do that. Ooh. This way. <laughs> you like that? You can't feel good? See, in the tabs you can use to scratch. If you have an animal, you can use it for your animal to get the itchy itchies. <laughs> I just love this girl so much. Isn't she just the cutest thing? 
You are. You're just the cutest thing, aren't you? Are you the cutest thing? Do you love the mama? Say, say thanks for watching mommy's 24-hour reading vlog. You know it was a little less than 24. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little t time lapse that I that mommy did of the read in the end. I love you guys all. Say please come another time to watch mommy's video. So you know the drill. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing and hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video is up that mommy has made for you guys. Until next time, happy reading. Thanks for being awesome. And don't be don't be afraid to DNF, DNF, DNF. DNF is your friend. Kissy kisses everybody. Kissy kissy kisses everybody. Look at her, isn't she adorable? She's saying bye. Oh, oh, saying bye. Oh, oh. And Rowan saying bye. <laughs> Say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs> Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. He's too busy cleaning her. <laughs> Say goodbye. <laughs> All right. He says goodbye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Until next time.